Hey there! Are you ready to uncover the key to improving your email deliverability rates and ensuring your messages land in your audience's inboxes? Today, we're exploring the warm-up phase at sendfox.com. We'll break down what it is, why it's important, and how it works. We'll also share some best practices to help you ace this process. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more email marketing tips and tricks. So, let's get started. What is the warm-up phase? First things first. All new users of SendFox go through the warm-up phase. Think of it as a test drive when buying a new car. You want to get a feel for the car before taking it out on the open road. Similarly, the warm-up phase is triggered when SendFox notices that you are sending to a large email list for the first time. But don't worry, this process is designed to help you succeed in the long run by determining your deliverability rates and protecting your sending reputation. It's an email marketing best practice. Why is the warm-up phase necessary? Email marketing apps like SendFox implement the warm-up phase to gradually build a positive sending reputation for new users. This is essential for ensuring that your emails have a higher chance of reaching your recipients' inboxes and not being flagged as spam. When a user starts sending emails to a large list for the first time, email service providers or ESPs like Gmail, Yahoo, and Outlook are cautious about allowing a large volume of emails from an unknown sender. ESPs closely monitor new senders to protect their users from spam and malicious content. Therefore, they may classify emails from new senders as spam if they suddenly send a high volume of messages. The warm-up phase helps mitigate this issue by sending your emails in smaller batches initially. As your emails show good engagement rates such as opens, unsubscriptions, clicks, and bounce rates or spam reports, the email marketing app gradually increases the number of emails you can send. This process helps establish trust with the ESPs, demonstrating that you're a legitimate sender and not a spammer. In summary, email marketing apps like SendFox use the warm-up phase to 1. Gradually build a positive sending reputation for new users. 2. Increase the likelihood of your emails reaching the recipient's inboxes. 3. Prevent your newsletters from being flagged as spam by email service providers. 4. Ensure a smooth transition into sending larger volumes of emails over time. How long does it take to send an email while warming up? Many factors impact email delivery rates, such as the sending server's reputation, the email's content, and its recipients. Email send times also depend on the size of your audience and the current mail queue in SendFox. You can hover your mouse over the status of the newsletter that's warming up to see the estimated time for the process to complete. What is the process? The process starts with SendFox sending your email to a percentage of your mailing list. If the stats are good, SendFox will continue to send to the next percentage of your mailing list. If no bad stats are encountered after sending the newsletter to your entire mailing list, it will move you out of the warm-up phase, meaning your next newsletter will no longer warm up. If your warmed-up email gets bad deliverability rates, your account will be optimized. Send an email to originals at appsumo.com to get help with the optimization. The next newsletter you send will still be warmed up. You will only be moved out of the warm-up phase when you have successfully sent a newsletter with good stats. What do I do to move out of the warm-up phase easily? To improve your email performance and move out of the warm-up phase, follow these steps. 1. Segment your list. Create separate lists for different groups of contacts based on their interests or preferences. This helps you send targeted emails and improve engagement. 2. Personalize your emails. Use personalization tags to address your subscribers by their first names, which can increase open and click-through rates. 3. Improve your content. Ensure your emails provide value to your subscribers. Share useful information, tips, or exclusive offers to keep them engaged. 4. Monitor your stats. Keep an eye on your email performance metrics, such as open rates, click-through rates, bounce rates, 
and unsubscribe rates. Use these insights to adjust your email strategy as needed. 5. Test different sending times. Experiment with sending your emails at different times of the day or week to find the optimal time for your audience. And that's a wrap. You're now well versed in the SendFox warm up phase and email marketing best practices. With this knowledge, you're ready to improve your email deliverability and reach more inboxes than ever before. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more email marketing tips and tricks. Until next time, happy sending.